We're at 826 on the live line right now, executive director and professor at the School of Criminology at Tarleton State University, Alex Del Carmen. And Alex, I'm just curious, with all the back and forth, uh, whether it's, um, you know, Islamic terrorists, whether it's, um, you know, hate crimes, whatever, uh, we've certainly seen a lot of reaction at airports in this country and abroad. Do you think that extra attention is making us safer, or do you think it's making uh, airports more of a target? Well, you know, it's really hard to tell. Uh, some some folks actually argue that it's making us safer. I'm not entirely convinced that they are. I think that the, right now we're seeing an emotional reaction to what recently occurred, and everybody seems to be really concerned, and the level of awareness seems to be heightened. What concerns me is not what's going on right now, but what's going to happen in two weeks from now when our guard is going to be down. Why will our guard be down in two weeks? Because I think that once we see that things are calming down and perhaps there won't be any more attacks on U.S. soil, uh, people go back to normal. People go back to that same level of, of awareness that we had prior to these attacks taking place. And, and that's when it concerns me. When, when our guard is down, it's when terrorists take advantage. And, and do you think that new style of attack, which, uh, you know, because you have that perimeter uh, at the front gate, whether it's x-rays or it's metal detectors, that now that uh, terrorists, uh, hate crimers, whatever you want to say, kind of fight, shoot, blow up their way in and still do that devastation? You know, there's always that potential. But what, what also, you know, what I've been saying uh, for the past couple of weeks is that even if we fortify airports to the extent that we don't let anyone in, even to the non-secure area, uh, and we put them to random checks, and, and all those things are great ideas. But, but at the end of the day, terrorists can go into a grocery store. They can go into a movie theater. They can go into any of the areas where we gather with our families on a daily basis and attack us. And so the airport is, you know, seems to be our obsession right now. But, but once the airports are fortified, they are going to find softer targets where they're going to attack us. Well, but, I mean, it's our passion because that's been their passion, passion historically. Right. So, so, but the point is, is that they're, we're actually focusing on where they're focusing. We're not thinking ahead in terms of what other areas, you know, they could be targeting us as well. And we live in a free society, which makes it incredibly difficult for us to be able to fortify every single place where we, where we go out and, and uh, you know, spend our weekends or spend our afternoons. And so it, this is going to be a very serious challenge to the American way of life. Gotcha. You're a professor at Tarleton State in, uh, in Fort Worth. Uh, you handle criminology, criminal justice. Are you seeing an influx of young people that want to go into that line of work? Do you feel like that they're a little tigered up and want to do their part to uh, protect the citizens of this great country? You know, I think nationwide we've actually seen an increase in the number of majors since 9-11, and that increase has not has not subsided. Uh, we we <laughs> see young people and older people that come in and, uh, and do want to do their part, as you say, and they also want to be part of this of this new paradigm to, to fight for our country. I got gotcha. you. Interesting stuff for sure. Alex, I appreciate the time very much. Alex Del Carmen, he's executive director and professor at the School of Criminology, Tarleton State.